Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on the Game oh, Professor channel. Stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Well spotted. We are back having just completed Professor Rackham's trial. There is that epic statue of him there. I love these statues so much. They are so cool. But let's get back to the map chamber. Check in again with everybody. Everybody being Professor Rackham, Professor Fig. And... Just... Me being me. Just looking for little details. So yeah, that's the tower we just were at. That's Hogwarts. Hogsmeade. That, I believe, is Feldcroft. And all the way down here, I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but there's a glow there. Hmm. I'm going to try to pay more attention to this. So there's a lot of really good detail here. At least I think this is supposed to be Feldcroft. Eh, we'll find out. Alright, let's check in with everybody. Hello, Professor. And Won't other Professor. Here. I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. I have seen you before. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. Mm -hmm. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them mm. to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The mm. goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. Yep. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. Mm -hmm. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, All before right. you go... Ah, yes. Yes, Professor Rookwood. Um... Before we do that, though, I do just want to take a quick moment, look at what we have. So we're technically still finishing this one, but we have another assignment from Professor Garlic for learning flipendo, fl 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 and then uh, Madame Kagawa's um, assignment to learn Arresto Momentum. So we are... We are progressing. We are progressing nice and quickly. 
but... What have you to say, Professor Rookwood? Professor, have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If oh. I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Excellent. So that is going to offer us a way to expand our ancient magic meter, which is awesome. And the changing of seasons, so it is now officially fall. And we'll be able to just get right to it. I think we're going to have another side quest open up to us, though. So close. So close. Seeing myself get that close to leveling up. Rude. Quite simply I should rude. Ask Serona at the three broom. I've got spectacular news. Ooh. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop when you can. All right. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. All right. I forgot to look up here. I think this is where the seventh year dormitories are. Up here. Kind of implied. Yep, Please seventh see me years. After okay. Class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you, I would like to teach you descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Nice. So, woof, we have a lot of spells to learn then. I think... Because we just had a pretty big bit of main story happen, I'm going to not do main story at the moment. As tempting as it is to do so. Because so I have... I still got a whole lot of exploring around the castle to do and everything. I think... Ooh, decisions, decisions. This is, this is where the game really starts to open up and you kind of can do what you will. I think we're going to do... Um... side quests like uh friendship the friendship tasks today oh i heard you Rebellion. there you are all right where are you gonna take me where are we going right over here all right Gonna stay quiet this time, so I can do it in one shot. There we go. I learned my lesson. Okay, and let me just check how many we have there. Oh my goodness. Um, well. Wow, okay. There's a lot. So, Beast's class. That'll open up something new to the The Caretaker's Lunar Lament <laughs> is what we're talking to Glad Wind Moon about. And the Helm of Urtkot. That uh, will be the biggest main story bit there. Professor and I, we need to collect troll bogies and cast Depulso on a levitated enemy. Okay. Dare say we'll be able to do that. But I think, yeah, the main one I was going to do was going to be Venomous Valor, and then there's another um, 
student task um, that we can get pretty easily from the uh, uh, word. Um, what the heck is it called? Um, Central Hall. Actually, because it's right here. Um, let's just do this. And then I might also try to see if we can get, um, one from Gareth as well. Wouldn't it be romantic? Oh. Let's see. Hey, she's here. So let's start with I really have made a Cressida. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought mm. I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because mm. when I opened my bag <laughs> just now in the library, they literally took flight. That is something that sounds brilliant actually thank you somehow i don't think the librarian will see it that way i collect the books and remove the charm myself except this isn't the first time one of my charms has <laughs> threatened the peace of the library our meat told madam scribner they were my books flying around so she said that if i caused her any more trouble she'd write to my parents perhaps you could get them for me there are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Um, yeah, why did he tell on you? Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. All right, uh, we can take care of that for you. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd Ooh. rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Coolio. Sounds like a plan. And we, ha we have met Ami at this point uh, in Potions class. And, well, we've sort of met him. But he, uh, it is very fitting that he Miyazaki would have... Got it. Only four more to go. That he would have been really impressed by the charm and just wanted to be excited about it. But, before I forget, just because I am prone to forgetting about this, we can use Glacius on these on any fireplaces to do that get the loyal and kind cloak that seems like it is a hufflepuff coat cloak where are you going where are you going key there we are all right i usually forget about this uh um, cabinet. So I'm glad I got it quickly this time. Man, I'm just delayed. There we go. Sweet. And I'll double check at some point how many of the house tokens we have. So three more books. I believe all three of them are up here. And we'll also be able to get some flying pages as well, I believe. Speaking of, let's see. There we go. <coughs> um, oh, I see another book. Rude. I saw you book... Come on. There we go. Should be one left. 
And I saw it flying around down here. Rebellion. Of course, I don't see it there now. There we are. Get this field guide page for the old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy, stu for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. All right, there we get our level up finally. Now, get our last book. Rebellion. There we are. There we go. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. And here's her diary. And we have it here. I might as well read it. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. He thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if it, he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. A broth smoky is again for tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Nothing particularly damning for lack of a better way of putting it in the diary, but still, I understand why they don't, they, why she doesn't want it read. I do wish that this is just a note in regard to the expression of hope that she doesn't want anyone to read it and also just general privacy. Um, I kind of wish that the game gave you the option to read it rather than just opening it up when you when you collect it it would be nice to be like read diary don't read diary to really give the choice there so i say as i still read the diary but yeah that i i think that they they had an opportunity there to make a bit more of a statement about <laughs> that little bit of consent. Hello, Cressida. There. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Of course. And no, I'm not going to ask for a reward to keep the diary a secret. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Sounds like Thank a plan. Goodness, some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want yep. anyone but me reading my diary. Ooh. New uh, wand handle. So that's exciting. And we will again do Venomous Valor. And Venomous Valor is a uh, is a nice one, I think. As to why that portrait was empty. Well, I'm glad to have answered some of your questions, Lenora. I genuinely am. But here we'll get to see a new little area around the castle. Man. Just getting more and more violent by the day, aren't we, fellas? My house broom will do me fine for a while, I'm sure. My parents keep promising me something to hmm. make up for the fact that they spoil my sister rotten. I think we'll just tell them to kick me out with a wind wisp from spint witches and we'll call it even. Frankly, I'd rather mimic them. That's fair. Sounded like those were two different conversations happening at the same time, though. But here we can do a little bit more grounds exploration, as it were. See, we're just outside of the greenhouses now. I do love Revelio. These. It's just good fun. 
Oh. Page there. That I will gladly gladly collect. Wow. Rebellion. Should have one here as well, yes. Glum bumbles. Glum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a treacle which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's actually really unfortunate. Um, but after this, I think we'll probably go to Spint Witches to get the broom upgrade. Because the sooner we get the broom upgrade, the better. All right, let's see here. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. That they are. Enter the hidden herbology corridor. Let's do it. And we'll take care of poor. This must uh, be the entrance to the hidden herbology Duncan. corridor. All right. Now, I do want to make sure we're ready for that. Lumos. Just makes sense to have a light. Devil's oh, another rat. Seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. It doesn't. I saw that red there for a second. It was like, oh god, they put blood on the floor. No. Just a rug. Alright. So now we know what has been able to thrive down in the hidden herbology corridor. Devil Snare. Now that looks like where we're trying to go, but we have a little way up here. So might as well do a little exploration. Ooh. Looks like we have some braziers. Or it's sconces, really. Technically. And here, by doing this, we effectively eliminate the need for Lumos in the area. So it's actually quite smart to do that. Is that a, a Sphinx? Hmm, coat of arms with a Sphinx, that's interesting. Lumos. I still like to keep my Lumos out and ready in case there are any sneaky areas. A griffin there. Yeah. I think that's a griffin. That's an unfortunate looking uh, armchair. Let's see here. That looks like a phoenix. Let's see here. Let's see if there are any any more of these. Let's see. Lumos. This will require. It seems the devil's now was protecting a chest of some kind. Confringo. There we go. There we go. And one more. That should be sufficient. Awesome. Unidentified face item. All right, so we will have to go back to the room of requirements soon. I think that's the only unidentified item we have right Lumos. now, though. Guess we'll go through this way. Ah, I and here we see. Enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan <laughs> to prove his bravery. I dare say so. For good, good measure. I do like to get these Lumos. 
sconces lit up as well, just to make the entire room a little safer. Lumos. Ooh, got some money. I do like the money. Excellent. And that should do it. Right back into the greenhouse. And, while we're at it, we can collect some more Venomous Tentacula while we're in here. Cause why not? Come on. I need to look again at what Professor Garlic's uh, task is. For me. All right. Luckily, Duncan is relatively close, so it shouldn't be a problem to get this turned into him. Right over yonder. Then, hopefully, might have to just do some exploring around the castle have you found eventually, anything to, too. Uh, prove my bravery yet? Here you go, Duncan. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacula. It's even mm -hmm. more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Uh, happy to help. Take it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. <laughs> this will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. I mean... Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's in dunking for me. Ultimately, I just don't like the the bullying of it. That's the big thing, is because that's all it is. It's just bullying. <laughs> but let's see here. Um, oh, well, I didn't mean to grab Fluxweed while I was in there, but that works. I'll do it. I think we will, like I said, go to get this broom upgrade from Albie Weeks. Um, and actually, just because I do not use them, I really don't. Well, hmm. I won't do that around my classmates, I guess. That would be rude. I'll probably just go into a random spot to set off everything all in one go. Ooh. I love seeing Hogsmeade come into focus like that. It really is wonderful. So, with this upgrade for the broom, we should have a slightly easier time flying at higher altitudes and that uh, uh, that meter that goes down when I hit my left trigger Hogsmeade, that should come. go down a little slower but off to spin which is welcome back I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you I truly appreciate all of your help. I appreciate it. I super appreciate it. And only a thousand for the upgrade, so you'll be thrilled with not that. Not bad. I promise you. Honestly, really not bad at all. And 
Honestly, I don't have a whole lot right now that's better than what I have. Druid Wolf Cape? Hmm. I've never looked at that one before. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Nice. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested hmm. in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Absolutely. Can you, but yeah, tell me more about the Irondale course first. What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your mm. classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against through mm. at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Absolutely. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Awesome. We'll be back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Sweet. Okay, then. What's our timing looking like? You know what, actually? Just because we've been races, sitting then. on it for a while, I am going to have us look at my brother's keeper actually you know what oh man we're right by the three of broomsticks all right we're right by the three of broomsticks i will go and talk to serona see what we can do we're not gonna really continue along this path just yet but we are Hello getting there. there. Nice to see you. Good to see you as well, Serona. Gonna chat with Clementine Willardsley first, though. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willardsley. Charmed. I was oh. musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about oh. it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? <laughs> I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, what did you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. I mean, that is all accurate, so... Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find hmm. me right around here. I hope to see you soon. All right, Clementine, or Clementine, as you said. We Don't won't forget, do that one just the butterflies yet. butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Cool. But let's chat with Serona about her goblin friend. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day? Yes, Lodgov. <sighs> He's a friend. Um, yeah, I am glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. Mm. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. 
We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognised me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Huh. It took them a second to realise I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Okay. Yeah, what have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Yeah, that sounds legit. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. <laughs> they should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Which is a wonderful sentiment for uh, for Sarana to provide, and really a good statement for people to live by in the grand scheme of things. Thank you, Sarana. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I will. And I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please... Watch your back. All right. Um, and let me just look at how things have updated. Okay. So I think then what we'll do is finish off this episode here. Uh, we've had a couple of really long ones lately, so do a more reasonably length one for now. And then next time we will check in with Lodgok, see what all we have going on there um and then we will go after my brother's keeper uh which is if you remember or brother's keeper that's uh bardolf um beaumont is missing up near upper hogsfield so we'll take care of that once we check in with lodgok next time but thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then.